Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of this video, the actual base camp build. In this video we're going to do two things, one is to paint the body and the other one is to hinge the door back on. First thing I'll do with the door is to cut the top bit off, giving it more space and a bigger window. Just like this. So it'll look like that. Now with painting Lexan, usually people would paint from the inside, but I paint on both sides. But because this is already painted with white on the inside, I'm going to cover this in black and paint the outside matte black as well. Before painting the Lexan on the outside, I always give a light sand with a 2000 grit. So now the Lexan should look like that. Repeat that to the whole shell, then paint. The sun is out, so it's a beautiful day to paint, guys. Let me show you my paint booth. It's just right here, on the outside, in the fresh air. Just on a piece of cardboard, nothing fancy. It looks like this now, it's all matted from the outside and the inside. There's a few ways you can mount this door, obviously, traditionally, but I usually like it this way. Why? Because it doesn't get in the way of the driver's animation if the door opens like that. So if I do it like this, I can still see all the action. And if I decide to make it move, I can always mount a servo in here to operate it. So what you need to hinge it is, well, this hinge here. Got it at an arts and craft shop. And we're going to hinge it right there. So what we need to do this, obviously, is a knife. Pen, server for operating it, and most importantly, styron. This is good stuff. I get it from my local hobby shop. Should always um, support them. You can cut them in different shape, heat it up, and bend it whatsoever. They're good for painting as well. Can make it look like middle. Then we drill two holes there. So that's a piece of styrene I glued on there, just lightly will do. Yep. That's the front of the door, that's the inside. Put it there. Now drill through these two holes, and that styrene piece will act as a mountain plate. Should look like this when it's done correctly. Inside, outside. Now we repeat the same process on the car. But what I do notice, small problem is the door lines are not straight. So it might not be perfect, but then what is? Should look like this when it's finished. From here, you can either leave it like this and open it yourself or automate it with a servo. Let's try that. So if you want to automate it, we'll need to make a L bracket with styrene and mount it right here. Just use a lighter. 
that works. Found one. So, like I said, just use a lighter and heat it up, just like that. Then I'll just um, end it like that. Shoot a lot of that, so just cut it off. We only need a small packet. Next thing we want to do is make a link that attaches to the servo and pushes out like that. But the problem is here, you can see if you want to open it that wide, the link is going to hit. So if it's a straight link, you're going to get that much. If you want that much, then we need a link that curves. Let's make that. To make the link, I'm going to use styrene. Now the best thing with styrene is, you can cut it. And then, you just snap it. So with this piece, we're going to make a link. As previously mentioned, I need a curved link, not a straight link. So how do we do that? Again. Heat it up and you can change the angles just by doing that. I need something like that. Now drill holes, probably two, one here, one here. Depends how much throw you want. Cut it up, round the edges, cut up this end, I don't need that long. Here's what it looks like mounted. You notice it doesn't need a lot of throw, but it's maximum open. Now I just have to mount this part to the servo and this should work. So there's the battery, receiver, Hook to the servo. Let's zoom in. So I'll place a servo there. Can be any servo. And I um, like to paint everything black, makes it more stealth. And this just hooks up to the link of that. And this should work. Let's check it out. <laughs> 